What's going on VR fans? Welcome back to Beam Review. For today's video, we're gonna be going over how to build and order a BMW. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, Beam Review, what we do here is teach you everything there is to know about BMWs. We go over every single hidden tip and trick in these vehicles. So if you have a BMW and you want to learn everything there is to know about it, subscribe to the channel because we put out content every single week. Before we get started, we did want to mention these really cool BMW key fob covers and BMW floor mats. So if you needed any one of these, feel free to check out the links right down below. The products are really nice and they're definitely worth looking into. So let's go ahead and get started. So yes, whenever we are purchasing purchasing our BMW, we have many different choices on how to acquire these vehicles. Of course, one of the most convenient ways is to just go ahead and order these vehicles because then you can customize it however you want. So yes, for today's video, we're going to be going onto BMW's build website and we're going to be customizing our own vehicle. And I'm going to tell you guys everything you need to know step by step on how to go ahead and order this vehicle. So without further rambling on, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the funny thing about this is I did as of last week, put in my order for a brand new BMW. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is right now, but we'll be revealing it as the months go by. So definitely, if you were wondering on what I got or, or what I have an order right now, subscribe to the channel so you can find out what that vehicle is. And trust me, you don't wanna miss it. So here's exactly what I did in my journey on ordering my BMW. I would recommend doing it this way because it was very convenient for me and I had no issues along the way. First off, what I did was just go onto Google and then I wanted to go ahead and design my BMW. So the very first thing I did was go to BMW's build website. You can just go to bmwusa.com and then you're gonna be greeted to the screen right over here. On the top left, you're gonna see these little tabs. All you wanna do is click on build your own, which was the second one here. And then you can see BMW's full list of vehicles that you can customize. And if you scroll down, you can see all of them as well. Easiest way to do it is if you had a vehicle in mind for this demonstration. Again, I'm not gonna tell you what I got, hint, hint, but for this video, we're gonna be going and designing our brand new X5. So we're gonna click on X5 and that brings us straight down here. And then we see our X5 right over here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit select. Once you hit select, once you press select, you're gonna be greeted to the X5 build page. And then right over here, you can see customize this build. But what you wanna do is go right down here to see all the different trims of X5 that you can go into, of X5 that you can choose from. The two different ones here is you're gonna have your S drive here and then you're gonna have your X drive here. S drive simply just means for two wheel drive or rear wheel drive. And then the X drive, which is what I prefer, is gonna be the all wheel drive system, all wheel drive all the time. Right over here, we have our hybrid option. Right down here, we have our X5 M60, which just means that it's a more powerful X5 with some really cool aesthetics like the M Sport package. And right down here we have the and right here we have the x5m which is a real dream car as well for this video we'll keep we'll keep it quite simple we're going to go with the x drive x5 let's go ahead and hit design right over here once we do that we're going to start our building process now we have these five tabs here we're just going to go from left to right so our first tab is going to be our design now bmws have different designs that you can choose from we have our regular sport standard option, which is this one right here. If you wanna opt in for the M Sport package, it is gonna be about two to three grand more, but you do get some really cool aesthetics such as some really cool bumpers, some blacked out trimming, and also a M Sport steering wheel. We'll keep it simple. We're just gonna choose a sport design, not the M Sport, and then we'll go ahead and go to our color next. Once we go to our color, we can choose all the different colors that you can choose from here on the right side. Keep in mind, BMW does have a full range of, of BMW individual paint that could range from about $3,000 to $5,000, but they do have, but that does include a whole lot more options that you can choose from. Black is my favorite color, so we're just gonna go with the black sapphire metallic, but you could choose any one of these. Keep in mind, if you do go more for the special paint, which these four are here, you, you are gonna be paying a little bit more than if you were to just choose one of these standard paints, which are right down here. We're gonna go with black. Next up, we got our wheels. Let's go into wheels. And here we have our options on the different types of wheels that we could choose. Keep in mind, if you do go for more sporty rims, there is gonna be a good chance that the build configurator is gonna have you put on the M Sport package because a lot of these wheels, you have to get the M Sport package in order to get the wheels as well. Again, we'll keep these 
quite simple, quite popular as to what I see a lot. And the ones we have selected right now are gonna be the most popular. So we're just gonna go ahead and pick on these 20s. And then we're gonna go to our next tab, which is gonna be the upholstery. And then we go into that. And then you can see here that the build configurator is giving us the option to look inside. You can go do a full 360 view. You can scroll up and down to zoom in and you can zoom out. Keep that in mind, you can use your mouse to zoom in and zoom out. But here, we're gonna choose our interior color. We have four options here on Sensofin, which is a bit of a performance leather, but I will say that they did do a good job of making it feel like it's like real leather. It is quite popular these days, but if you do wanna opt in for the real merino leather, the extended merino leather, you are gonna have these options here. Again, we'll keep it simple. We're just gonna go with a nice basic black for this one. And then you can see all the different choices populate on the left side to give you a real life example of what that color would look like. Next up, we can go on to trim. And then here we have our options on the different trim pieces that we could choose for the dashboard. Now, if you're wondering what the trim pieces are, it's gonna be this whole brown trim right here along with this section right here. Sometimes you'll see it on the doors as well. But you'll see that whenever I choose different types of trim that it will populate that trim piece onto the build configurator. Over here, we can see fine line. Over here, we can see anthracite. And then we can see a whole lot more. Again, keep in mind that if you do choose a fancier trim, there is gonna be a good chance that the, that the build configurator is gonna have you put on the M score package or maybe some other options as well. For this one, we're, we're gonna keep it nice and dark. We're gonna go with the fine line trim. And then we're gonna go next to our options. Now options is going to be probably where you spend the most time in my opinion, because depending on which BMW you have, you are going to have the option to choose many, many different options. BMW gives tons and tons of options to choose from, and we're going to come back to it. But as you're choosing these options, you, that you're remembering them properly or writing them down or make a checklist of what exactly you want in your vehicle or what exactly you do not want because this is a good spot where people make a lot of mistakes because they think that their actual build, whenever they finalize it, has certain options. But you'd be surprised at the amount of times whenever somebody would wait three whole months to get their vehicle and then they found out that there was an option that they thought that they selected, but it was not there. So definitely take your time here. You may just wanna write all this down or make a, check, or make a checklist of what options you do want and which, and which options you don't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose my favorite ones here. I personally do love driver's assistance professional, which just basically means that the car can drive all by itself. You have your M Sport Pro package here, which just gives it the M Sport look, along with some more additional goodies, such as a blacked out kidney grill, or, or even a grill that illuminates at nighttime. Parking assistance is a good one to have that I do pick all the time. Climate comfort package, not really my thing, to be honest. Right down here, we have our first list of options. If you do live in the US, you may have a good chance that you may have the option to choose remote engine start. I do highly recommend this. This is gonna be for a ride height, don't really need. This one, I personally would not recommend aluminum running boards, which just gives it a nice little look right down here. You can't really step on it. It's just there for aesthetics. Not really worth it in my opinion. If you do a lot of towing, you may just wanna get a trailer hitch. Keep in mind the trailer hitch you can only get from factory. And that's another thing to mention about all these options. A good amount of them, if not all of them, have to be selected right now. You cannot get these after the fact. So definitely take your time to make sure you choose the right options. Rear manual side shade. I personally don't have any kids yet, so I don't have to worry about that. Multi-contour seating. It gives you the option to adjust the seat in multiple different ways. Massage seating. I got a massage chair at home, so I don't need that either. Four zone climate control. So if you had rear passengers, Quite often, they can choose their own temperature set, their own their own temperature settings on the left and the right, so they don't fight over one temperature. Here, front seats, armrest, and steering wheel is a must for me, so I will be choosing that. Head-up display is also a good one as well. It shows the cool of design on, on the windshield. That's something I use every single day. Keep in mind, if you wear polarized sunglasses, you may not be able you may not be able to see that. So keep that in mind. If you wear sunglasses all the time, front and rear heated seats. I think I already chose that, but again, we're just gonna make sure that we have that all set and of course we have our harmony card and sound system which is a must in my opinion so we definitely got that blue calipers i don't really care about this is just the basic build if i had a sports car which which the one that i ordered is it does have a cool set of red calipers 
And then once you're all set with that, you want to go over to summary. Over in summary is going to summarize your whole build. You can see it. You can see the price tag. You can see which local dealers may have a vehicle that may that may fit your criteria. This good this may just be a good option that you may want to look into because if you don't mind a thing missing here or there or a non 100% match, it makes more sense to buy a, a similar vehicle that a local dealer may have because then you may be able to get a better deal for it versus just ordering one brand new for just yourself. If you scroll down, you can see more of the interior pictures, you can see side profiles, the rear, the rear of the vehicle, and then you can see all your specs and options that you had chosen from here. Be sure to review this again, review the options. It, it is very important. Right down here, you can see a whole bunch of similar X5s that are in the area. You may just wanna give you got these a look or give the nearest dealer a call to see if they're still available. If you do find one that you do like. Right down here, we see some more pictures and then that is gonna do it for the summary page. Now here's the biggest thing you need to know about the summary page. Over here, you're gonna see the share and save build. This is gonna give you a code. Now what I would recommend is you email this code to yourself just so you have it saved somewhere. So you wanna click on this drop down and then go to share via email. And then over here, you're gonna give the, you're gonna have the option to send the email to yourself. And then right below it, you're gonna see this link right over here, which someone can click on and to see the actual build that you had. So feel free to email this to yourself just so you have it for records. And then this link is gonna be very, very important that because this is the link that you could send to your dealer, or you can also send that to multiple dealers to start price shopping to get to see who can give you the best deal for your build. So yes, at this point, you can go to your local dealer and bring them that build code or email them the link to that. And then they can go ahead and pull up this exact build that you had made. And then you can go to the dealer, you can test drive a similar vehicle, more likely, more likely than not, they may or may not have the same one in stock. So definitely make sure you do test drive a similar vehicle, one that may have the same engine that may also be a X5 as well, just so you get the feel for it. Another thing to mention is that the build code is actually gonna be this little guy right over here, which is kind of hard to see, but this is gonna be the build code that, that is super important. You may just wanna save this build code here to your phone. And then again, you, you also wanna uh, make sure that you email yourself that build code as well. So again, at this point, once you have finished up your build, you can go ahead and go to the dealer. I'd recommend test driving a similar vehicle to the one that you had made just so you get a good feel for it. You can feel free to go there, ask questions. And then once you get to the point of negotiating numbers, you're gonna see them give a price quote such as this. Again, the best way to go about this is to take this quote sheet and shop around to multiple dealers. You can also do this via email as well, so you don't have to go drive into every single dealer around. You basically wanna shop around and see who can give you the best deal at that time. And then once you come to a deal or a conclusion, you're you may be asked to put down a deposit between $500 to $2,500, sometimes up to $5,000. Your credit will also most likely be ran, be ran before the build goes into play just to make sure you get approved. So definitely make sure your credit score is good. And then you're going to be signing a bunch of papers, most likely. And then after that, you're going to have to wait, wait, wait. But one of the things you may want to get from your dealer as soon as you walk before you walk out is your production number because your production number is what you're going to be using to track your vehicle which is going to be this guy right over here this again you, you may just have to get from your dealer it may take a day or two to process so if so if they don't have it immediately you may just have to wait a couple days to get it but this production number is going to be very crucial because here's what you're going to be doing with it in order to track the build of your brand new bmw so yes once you have gotten your production number you can go back onto google you can type in bmw id login like i do and then go ahead and log into your bmw id and then you can get to this page here and go ahead and register for your account if you already have one just go ahead and plug in your email address you may have to change your password so keep that in mind but if you're brand new to bmws go ahead and register make an account again if you already have any email with bmw just punch that into here and then go ahead and log in. Once you are logged in, you're gonna to come to this page here. And then what you wanna do is go to right here where it says my garage, go ahead and click on that and wait for that to load. And then you're gonna to come to this page here where it says welcome to my garage. What you wanna do is add vehicle. So let's go ahead and, so let's go ahead and go into add vehicle. 
right over here, you're gonna get to this page. If you already know your VIN number, which most likely you do, you do not know for your build, that's okay because there's another option here where it says vehicle still in production, enter your production number instead. So we're gonna go into that. Right over here, you can punch in your production number and then go ahead and press next. And then once you do that, the vehicle should go ahead and load and then you'll be able to track your vehicle. Just to give you guys a little tease to see the one that I ordered, here's a cool little tease on the tires of it. You can kind of see it. I'm not gonna show the whole thing, but that's the tires right there. But yes, at this point, you're gonna see this bar over here just go all the way across. You're gonna see the status of your BMW being built from start to finish. It's gonna go from order received to scheduled for production to production begins, exterior body assembly, in the paint booth when the paint goes on, entering the assembly line, assembly in progress, quality check. The final assembly, ready for transport, awaiting carrier assignment, dispatched from factory, the whole list at the port, in transit, at the dealership, and then our favorite one where it says vehicle delivered. So throughout the course of the two, three months or however long it's gonna take to build your BMW, this whole thing is gonna go all the way across and then so that way you'd get an idea on how your vehicle is tracking. And then once the vehicle does finally get delivered, you're going to be notified. Keep in mind that there is a title that has to come with the car in order to finalize the numbers and drive off with the vehicle. That is also known as a CO or a certificate of origin. So keep that in mind. You may have to wait for that to arrive. It could take up to the same day or the next day or even the day after for that to arrive. But you have to have both the car and the CO in order to drive away with the vehicle. But yes, once both of those things are in, you can go ahead and go into the dealer and then go ahead and finalize the numbers and then you're gonna be well on your way. And that is gonna be how the BMW ordering and building process works. If you all had any questions, write it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to check out the BMW key fob covers at the store and also BMW floor mask. The links for both of those are going to be right down below. So definitely check those out. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all for the next one.